After six long years, we finally got our first look at the live action One Piece, and it's actually good. At Netflix's Toonam event, we finally got our first look at the One Piece live action, and I actually enjoyed it. It was nice to see all those events that you got to see in the anime and the manga be brought to life into the real world. And I'm just ecstatic to see where it goes from here. Now, I'm already a big fan of this cast. We have Luffy, Nami, Zoro, Sanji, Usopp, and they're just perfect. Except I don't like what they've done with my boy Sanji's hair. Look at my boy! They massacred his hair. He looks like he's fucking old. He's only like 18 at this point in the show. They made my boy have gray hair. Sanji doesn't have gray hair. It's like a brighter yellow color. It just doesn't translate well here. Now, my other nitpick is Nami's hair. It's a little bit too orangish. And if you look at Nami's actress, she actually looks like the role of Nami without the wig. But besides those two things, I actually really enjoyed the cast. I think that each and every one of them fits the role really, really well. Now, we haven't seen a lot from Usopp, but I'm sure in the next trailer we'll be able to see something from him eventually. I actually enjoyed how Luffy was presented in this trailer teaser, whatever this was, whatever you want to call it. And I actually like how they toned down Luffy a little bit so that he's still, you know, that adventurous kid and everything, but they had to tone it down just a bit to be able to, you know, appeal to Western audiences. Like, if you watch this as a person who's never watched One Piece, you would be scared of Luffy acting like Luffy in the first episode. <laughs> now we did get our first look at Zoro, and I gotta say, Makanyo, you killed it. I probably butchered your name though. But I really, really did enjoy his whole tone as, you know, this stoic badass character that we're supposed to root for, and we want him to become this you know, the greatest swordsman. And I hope they'd continue with the story, man, because I can't wait to see, you know, him taking on the Baroque Works agency. I, I, I can't wait for that. Now that covers the general cast there. But now we gotta head into the sets. Now from the trailer, we got to see a bunch of sets. We got to see Fusha Village, the Baratier, Shell's Town, and a bunch of other areas as well. Now what stands out to this is that they look phenomenal almost very very similar to what they are in the manga and the anime and i love that i love the fact that they are almost one-to-one -one, and it's not trying to deviate too much from the actual locations but you can't have these amazing sets and not use good cinematography and boy oh boy does this show look gorgeous like just the cinematography itself is amazing i'm loving how the camera's zooming in and out it, it looks gorgeous and the sets are lit well everything looks gorgeous i swear this show is going to probably be the best looking live action and that's not saying much we're looking at you death note but next up i gotta speak about the crew dynamic and uh we just have one scene really of that and it's you know just seeing zoro over here talking with Nami saying that pretty much he doesn't listen to Nami because you know he doesn't work for Nami he works for Luffy and you know Nami's like you're not doing it right because you know they didn't like each other at the beginning they were actually against each other for a majority of the beginning of the series so them just portraying that really really well was actually very satisfying for a One Piece fan and then you got Luffy over here just being like I sense a lot of tension between the crew and then they just tell him to shut up <laughs> which is just perfect. Just having that little goofy moment between the crew right there, it, it's perfect. And then we also get to see Luffy at the very end saying all good heroes call out their special attacks. I really enjoyed that moment and then Zoro coming back and being like, no, they don't. And it kind of just, it shows that they're trying to appeal to that Western audience and all of that. So really good moment right there. It's perfect. But up next, we got to talk about the CGI. Now, I'm gonna be honest, CGI in live action anime is hit or miss sometimes. And I think here it was actually a hit. Of course, Luffy's arm stretching is, it's a little weird, gotta be honest. I'm pretty sure that this is a rough sort of sketch for how Luffy is going to be using it and it will be perfected over time. After all, we do have about two months out until this is actually released. Now, we also do have a shot of the Sea King 
and my goodness this thing looks insane like if i saw that i would be afraid they nailed the head on what it's supposed to be I love how it looks. And I believe we also got to see a shot with Shanks there being on the Sea Beast. I'm not too sure about that, but uh, whoo, it looks gorgeous, guys. But of course, we have to look at something else a little bit scary. So I'm gonna need the Joker to, you know, go away because the new clown is in town and his name is Buggy because, oh my God, Buggy looks like a fucking serial killer. They nailed it. Like, damn. They nailed one of my favorite characters of all time. And jeez, I love that they made Luffy's first villain so fucking menacing. This dude looks like he's gonna fuck you up. <laughs> and if you are scared of clowns, you are definitely gonna shit your pants when you see fucking Buggy. I love that they made him sort of, uh, maybe even scarier than the Joker, actually. I just love how he looks. I even made him my profile picture on Discord. So if that shows you how much I love live action Buggy, I fucking love him. But we did not only get Buggy, we got Kobe. And uh, gonna be honest, uh, I don't know how they're gonna handle Kobe. Because Kobe gets a growth spurt during the middle of the fucking series. So I don't know how they're gonna handle that. I'm hoping that maybe they'll hire a new actor or something. The Kobe that we see here, he looks decent. Of course, the, the shot's a little weird because you know, you see Luffy using gum gum pistol, but from the side profile, it looks good. But of course we also did get Captain Morgan. Well, a painting of Captain Morgan. And what what really interests me right here is I don't know how we're gonna be being able to see the weirder sides of characters because uh, let's be honest, One Piece has some weird fucking characters. You got fucking Fishman. I don't know how they're gonna do Fishman. Oh my God. I just realized we haven't seen Arlong yet. I can't wait until we see Arlong. <laughs> But from what we saw of Captain Morgan, uh, I, I really like how he's coming along and everything. Again, One Piece has some weird fucking characters, and I'm curious to see how they're gonna handle it. And I wonder how they're gonna handle, you know, Mihawk's sword, because we haven't seen Mihawk yet. Seeing that big ass sword, you know? I don't know about it, man. We'll have to see how they do Arlong and how they do Mihawk's sword to really get to see the grasp, everything, and the. Uh, what we're seeing for the final product in there. But up next, I have to talk about the Mary. Y'all, that thing looks scary as fuck. We first saw this about maybe a month ago, and I'm gonna be honest, this Mary has not grown on me. Now, in the Mary in the show, it looks fucking cute. This thing, it's fucking horrifying. That is the one thing that I am completely not sold on now if we do get to you know water seven and thriller bark i i really really hope that the sunny does not get the mary treatment and looks like fucking shit because if that's the ship that we're supposed to see for the rest of the fucking story oh my god bless our souls but not only did we get to see that ship we also got to see garp ship and then we also got to see alvita ship and to be honest those were actually pretty good i i can't complain we also got to see the baratier and the baratier oh my god the baratier looks so good from the interior to the exterior everything looks good oh my goodness i, I i'm in love with it that pretty much wraps up the ships but up next we have to talk about some uh, little details if you actually pay attention to the one piece manga you'll know that we actually are getting a I, I don't know if it's like a live action exclusive, I guess. Yeah, it would be a live action exclusive, but we actually get to see Mr. Seven. Now, if you don't know who Mr. Seven is, well, that's the person that actually tried to recruit Zoro to become a member of Baroque Works. We actually never got to see him, but we got to see a rough sketch of him by Oda. And uh, when I say rough, it's rough. Uh, I, I could not imagine Oda putting any effort into this sketch. Like, it looks like shit. We got to see him fighting Zoro, and the cinematography here looks really fucking well. So up next, we have our costumes actually being based around sketches and cover pages of Oda's works. Now you can see this with the opening shot with Luffy actually sitting on top of the Mary and him in little overalls. 
Now that's actually a manga only cover page and it's just, it's so cool being able to see those little details being shown here and it kind of changes their outfits every so often so they're not just wearing the same clothes every fucking day. And there's plenty more like Usopp shirt in one of the scenes and then we get another Luffy shirt and then when Luffy's underwater and Sanji tries to save him, that's another shirt. And you just get to see different outfits for all of the crewmates all around. But that's not the only detail I picked up on. We also got more details pertaining to, well, the minor details like Luffy in the barrel right when we get to see Alvita ship. That's the minor little details that, you know, manga readers would pick up on. But now let's go into some audience reactions. Now I know that this is going to be kind of polarized cause you know, you got people that are really uh, thrilled about this being made into live action and there's gonna be people that are really, uh, you know, against this becoming a live action because you never have anime that turns out well when it's created into a live action. So let's go to Twitter. So this tweet right here by Smeeth, the new One Piece live action looks terrible. The new One Piece live action looks amazing. For fucking real. And you know, I, I love the fact that they're using this scene because this scene, it, it literally is the community right now. Buggy D Clown will make the live action One Piece series a success. When we finally see his goofy antics alongside his design, he'll carry this show probably. You heard it here first. I fully fucking agree. Once we get to see Buggy in action and we don't see this one creepy looking shot, I think people are gonna fall in love with Buggy. I fully fucking agree. San Lu Wu says, say what you want about the One Piece live action, but leave the actors alone. They work so hard on this and put so much love into it. And it's obvious how passionate they are about the series. Now I'm gonna agree here. Uh, they really do look like they are enjoying themselves even on stage they look like they had you know so much passion for it if you watch the actual two of them event they were going ham with the crowd and the crowd was there for one piece so this has a bunch of hype surrounding it and then boom over here says keep seeing people ask who the live action is for it's for the casual viewer who doesn't want to watch 1000 episodes of a show i've had three normie friends ask about it who wouldn't have cared otherwise it's an attempt at a broader audience who don't care about anime yes 100 percent. one piece should definitely be experienced by everybody and that's why this is here it's to reach a broader audience who wouldn't even think about touching anime slash manga and that's what the one piece live action is trying to achieve okay right here delivering a perfect kick while still holding the meal i got hopes for Taz slash Sanji for the One Piece live action. I'm gonna be honest, I'm a Sanji sim. And you know, when I saw Taz doing that fucking kick, I was ecstatic. I was like, oh shit, my dude! But definitely I'm ecstatic for Taz's appearance in this live action One Piece. And I really, really hope he does a good job at Sanji. But if you guys did enjoy this video, go ahead and smash that like button down below and let me know what your thoughts are on this live action One Piece. Are you for it? Are you against it? Let me know because uh, your boy, I'm leaning towards I'm for this live action, but let me know down below. And with that, I'm going to go ahead and kick the heck out of here. I'm Foul Plays and I'm out. Peace.